SpaceX and NASA's Mars Colony For centuries, humanity has looked to the stars with wonder. But what would it be like to live on another planet? NASA and SpaceX are working to make this dream a reality. With plans for a colony on Mars, they are facing many challenges. This video will explore the challenges of colonizing Mars and how NASA and SpaceX plan to overcome this challenge and make it happen. So, stick around. Challenges of Colonizing Mars A significant challenge in colonizing Mars is transporting the vast amount of supplies and equipment needed. Unlike moon missions with smaller payloads, a crew of 10 on a two-year Mars trip requires an unprecedented mass, given that it is 150 million miles away. Existing powerful rockets like NASA's Saturn V and the Space Launch System aren't sufficient. Colonizing Mars is not just a lofty dream, it's vital for humanity's survival and progress. Earth, our home for billions of years, may have a limited lifespan. Becoming a multi-planetary species safeguards us against catastrophic events on Earth. Mars colonization is an unprecedented opportunity for humanity to secure its future and explore new heights. Elon Musk's SpaceX aims to enable human explorations of Mars with his super-heavy rocket Starship, designed to solve the challenge of deep space travel. The Starship significantly increases capacity, generating double the thrust of NASA's Saturn V. Upgrades in the Raptor engine aim to deliver 100 metric tons to Mars. However, raw power alone isn't sufficient. To achieve faster transit times and enhance Mars colonization potential, SpaceX is exploring nuclear thermal propulsion. This technology, studied by NASA for decades, offers three to five times greater efficiency than chemical engines, enabling faster travel, increased payload capacity, and maneuverability. NASA's project, Draco, aims to deploy a nuclear spacecraft within the next five years. While the private sector may face regulatory challenges in obtaining nuclear fuel, NASA's expertise makes it an ideal partner for SpaceX. It is on this note that a collaboration between these two powerhouses has become imminent. The collaboration between SpaceX and NASA. The collaboration between SpaceX and NASA stands as a pivotal alliance essential for the sustainable triumph of human spaceflight to Mars. SpaceX, at the forefront of rocket technology and private space exploration, synergizes with NASA's wealth of experience, logistical prowess, and extensive research data. NASA's mastery of Mars landing and execution of extended missions plays a crucial role in the success of colonization endeavors. Further, NASA's logistical acumen and research into human habitation in space yields invaluable insights into the construction and management of a Martian colony. Essential components such as project management, crew selection, and comprehension of challenges of isolation and environment are integral to a prosperous colonization mission. The collaborative efforts between SpaceX and NASA ensure a holistic approach, amalgamating the strengths of both entities. Beyond propulsion, Nuclear power emerges as a cornerstone in fostering the triumph of Mars colonization. NASA's Kilo Power Project is dedicated to crafting small, modular nuclear reactors for space power generation. These reactors promise abundant and reliable energy from Mars' inception, obviating dependence on solar power until extensive solar farms are established. NASA's plan to test a 10-kilowatt reactor on the Moon underscores its commitment to deploying similar systems on Mars. Moreover, the heavy task of colonizing Mars demands meticulous planning and efficient project management. While Elon Musk's vision steers the venture, the logistical hurdles of erecting a Martian city are formidable. Collaborating with NASA ensures access to their expertise in managing space missions from landing operations to sustained human habitation. NASA's extensive experience in simulating Mars habitats and conducting profound research on the Red Planet establishes the foundation for triumphant colonization. NASA's extensive research and exploration of Mars not only enrich humanity's comprehension of the Red Planet, but also furnish crucial insights for mission design, site selection, and crew safety. Decades of scrutinizing Mars from the ground provide indispensable knowledge for preparing astronauts for the challenges of long-duration space travel. The integration of a nuclear component into the SpaceX Starship poses a formidable engineering challenge. 
the possibility of outfitting Starship with nuclear thermal engines raises questions, suggesting a potential solution where NASA develops a separate nuclear propulsion stage. Launching it into low Earth orbit and having Starship dock with it before journeying to Mars could address this complexity. Despite these engineering hurdles, a joint SpaceX slash NASA mission to Mars presents inherent advantages, capitalizing on SpaceX's innovative thinking and cost cutting, complemented by NASA's governmental resources and institutional experience. This collaborative SpaceX NASA mission to Mars is poised to materialize possibly in the early to mid 2030s. Key components include nuclear thermal propulsion and the technology for sustainable astronaut habitation on Mars. A decade should be enough for the development of these crucial technologies, marking the onset of the inaugural human interplanetary expedition. This Mars initiative can coincide with other space priorities like moon exploration and the establishment of commercial space stations to succeed the ISS, necessitating ample resources from NASA and its global and commercial partners. For the Crew Health and Performance Exploration Analog Experiment, over 4,000 individuals applied, but only four were chosen to assess the effects of extended space travel. Led by Commander Kelly Haston, the team compromises flight engineer Ross Brockwell, medical officer Nathan Jones, and science officer Anka Salariu. Now, you may be wondering if living on Mars is a good idea, especially when it comes to the issue of reproduction and feeding. And I will give you an honest answer to that question. The truth is, the possibility of human reproduction in space remains uncertain, whether during spaceflight or on another celestial body. While the physics of sexual activity in lower gravity is straightforward, the impact of space environments on the intricate biological processes required for human growth raises numerous unanswered questions. Earth's evolutionary processes are finely tuned to function in a gravity-dominated environment, whereas space lacks significant gravity, and Mars has only about 38% of Earth's gravitational strength. The interplay of reduced gravity and increased radiation poses significant challenges to mammalian reproduction in space. Earth's magnetic field shields against energetic cosmic particles, but in space, radiation levels are higher and potentially more harmful. This is a particular concern for fetal development, given the increased sensitivity of embryos to radiation. Gravity and radiation remain the primary concerns for scientists exploring reproduction in space. Ethical considerations surrounding human studies have led researchers to conduct experiments with various animals in space. Early Soviet experiments in the late 1970s involved rats in orbit, showing evidence of mating but no successful deliveries. NASA later sent pregnant rats into space, revealing potential impacts on later pregnancy stages and abnormal development in rat pups' vestibular systems. While spaceflight seems to affect rat sperm counts and increased abnormalities, researchers acknowledge that aspects of pregnancy, birth, and early mammalian development may proceed under altered gravity conditions. But when mice were sent there, the result was something entirely different. Research indicates distinct reactions between rodent species, as exemplified by two-cell mouse embryos on the shuttle Columbia, which failed to progress in space compared to Earth controls. Simulated microgravity experiments revealed that while in vitro fertilization proceeded normally, embryos cultured in microgravity struggled to implant and develop when transferred to female mice. A recent Japanese-led study demonstrated that freeze-dried mouse sperm after nine months in space successfully produced embryos. Other experiments showcased the reproductive success of crickets, nematodes, fruit flies, and Japanese madeka fish aboard the space shuttle Columbia. Salamander eggs fertilized on the Russian space station Mir produced embryos with alterations, while sea urchin experiments suggested possible fertilization in space with notable effects on sperm movement. In contrast, quail eggs in a Mir incubator failed to develop normally. These diverse findings paint a deep picture of how spaceflight influences reproduction. For mammals, particularly, the outlook is challenging due to the interplay between mother and fetus during embryonic development. The scientists cautioned that before investing significantly in capabilities for multi-generational mammalian reproduction in partial gravity, 
it's crucial to explore the challenges, as gravitational forces might disrupt the life cycle processes and shape inheritable genomes in ways different from Earth. When it comes to feeding, creating a viable food system on Mars hinges on utilizing water extracted from the soil, a resource identified by rovers to exist in significant amounts as frozen water in the crust. The key component in extraterrestrial agriculture is cyanobacteria, commonly known as blue-green algae. While cyanobacteria pose challenges on Earth, causing issues like eutrophication in polluted waterways, on Mars it takes on a crucial role. Thriving on the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and adapting to the sandy, inorganic, and toxic regolith covering bedrock, cyanobacteria become the cornerstones for generating essential organic molecules, forming the basis of the entire Martian food ecosystem. Beyond its role in organic synthesis, cyanobacteria serves a dual purpose by neutralizing toxic perchlorates pervasive in the Martian regolith, ensuring a safer environment for potential human colonization. So, imagine a Martian city as one that will be adorned with lush greenery, hydroponics and soil-bound crops flourishing in tunnels, domed craters, and every available corner. However, achieving this mission requires collaboration of aerospace experts. SpaceX's Starship, coupled with NASA's nuclear thermal propulsion, lays the groundwork for a sustainable human presence on Mars. As we embark on this ambitious mission, are you ready to contribute your ideas to propel humanity beyond Earth? Let us know what you think about this ambition in the comment section below and also give the video a thumbs up. For more exciting videos like this one, subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.